not all employers now are embracing skills-based practices. It's sort of the the um, downside, I would say. Like, it, and what we're seeing is a lot of degree inflation, is what I call it, in the marketplace. When we scrape like LinkedIn and Indeed and the other job posting sites, is close to 90% of those job postings are requiring a four-year college to degree to even apply, right? And so if you're clicking, you don't have it, and it's all done online, you're just getting filtered out right away. And then at the same time, what I'm hearing at like Chambers of Commerce and Small Business Development Centers and with the economic developers is everyone's like, well, there's not enough local talent. I can't find the local talent I need. And I think the dynamic that is happening is some of our job postings are getting sort of out of touch with the actual data of the workers in the job and neglecting um, the skills transferability that is so important right now. Jobs are changing. Work is evolving. Um, and the way we've been doing our job postings is, is a little bit archaic. And so one of the ways we're addressing that is we created a free tool for employers to use called the job posting generator. And it allows an employer to uh, type in the name of a title of a job that they're hiring for and it takes the guesswork out of how do you do a skills-based job posting. I think when we step back and look at America as a whole, 70% of America does not have a four-year college degree. So degree inflation is hurting everybody. And there's nothing wrong with having a four-year college degree. I'm very proud of being a, uh, you know, finishing my doctorate this year. But I also recognize there's a lot of different paths people take to demonstrate the skills that they have. And if we wanna tap into the best talent possible, we need to express the skills that we want people to have and then respect the variety of ways that they show up demonstrating those skills.